Hello, it's Sam Pepper, and this is my interview for Rock Forever magazine. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever magazine, and I am here today with the one and only Sam Pepper. That's me. How are you doing? I'm okay, how are you? I am very good. You know what's funny? I'm used to hearing your name like Sam Pepper. So like saying pepper sounds yeah. very weird saying it out loud. <laughs> but I'm jealous of your accent, it's awesome. So we're gonna start with some finish the sentence for you. Now, if you could trade places with anybody for a day, who would it be and why? Um, yeah. Probably like, I'd like to trade places with like the queen or something because then I can make her do really funny things. <laughs> you know, like I could just go and stand on the balcony and flash. That would be... And then everyone would be like, oh my god, the queen <laughs> just flashed. And then I'll be like... <laughs> you would call In a day's so time, she's going to be really embarrassed. It'd <laughs> be quite funny. I think that's pretty genius, though. Please, yeah. if only that was actually possible. When, yeah, that would be great. Now, if you were hosting punk you would... I'd probably... Who would I punk? If I could punk anyone. Maybe I'd, another YouTuber? Or? Yeah, um... I'd like to punk Jack and Finn probably <laughs> because I feel like I feel like that they'd, they'd get really serious, like, oh no, what's <laughs> going on? And then right. I think that reaction would be really genuine and like right. I feel like a lot of my other YouTube friends are quite crazy, so they'd be yeah. like, oh this I feel like Jack and Finn would be like, What the fuck? Yeah. Fudge, what the fudge. It's a dessert. But um if you could start a new side project right now, it would be um, I've been wanting to start like filming like some serious documentaries you and just I just posted one yeah exactly yeah. so I've just kind of started that in the moment and it's something that I want to do and like interview people with really interesting stories exactly and I thought that video was so interesting and really eye-opening I suppose what was that experience like for you because it was a pretty serious video yeah if you don't know I interviewed like some homeless guy and he had a really deep story about like how he became homeless and stuff like that and I mean it was crazy because it's like you don't you just see homeless people and you think oh they're just homeless people or whatever you know they do drugs and you know and when you listen to someone like that and you hear that story you're just like you never really stop to think why mm -hmm. that person's actually there you just think oh it's just another homeless person yeah. so that was kind of interesting and what other kind of documentaries do you want to do in the future um i've got a few lined up i've found one guy in particular that i'm really interested in he owns a really interesting shop and i want to find out here i know he has a very interesting backstory so it will be really yeah. interesting for people anything that i think is unusual or, or going to be interesting or a story that you wouldn't normally hear yeah i'm looking forward to seeing more yeah. of those because that first one was really great and now if you weren't making youtube videos you would um, probably kill myself. I don't, I, no, no I tell you, I tell you seriously, my, I don't have any, like, fears, like, I'm not that afraid of heights, like, I'll always, like, do something that I'm afraid of, mm -hmm. but my biggest fear is, like, my YouTube just stopping, because I'm like, oh, what would I do, because, yeah, because I'm like, I'm like, oh, like, that's, like, my job, it's, like, all my friends are in you, my YouTube, like, and it's, like, I don't know. Yeah, what bad. would you do with that yeah, life, yeah, life, basically? Yeah, exactly. Now, last finished sentence here. One thing people might not know about you is... Mm, oh, people know so much about me. Do like, you have I any don't... Like, secret talents or anything I, like that? I had, like, my, my one I used to tell in job interviews before YouTube <laughs> is that I could ride a unicycle, but now everyone knows I can ride a unicycle because I did a video with Jack doing it. Oh, So, okay. like, I don't know. I've, I always wanted to be a caterpillar. Really? Yeah. Now we know. I definitely didn't know that before, so that's good. <laughs> and now you're at Playlist Live right now, and it's already so exciting. It's not even halfway through the first day yeah, yet. it's happening. Look at all these people. All oh, around. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so people in this empty echo, hallway. Echo. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> but who are you most excited to see while you're here and most looking forward to just being at Playlist? Well, I've been, like, staying in L.A. for, like, three four months now yeah so i haven't seen all my british friends so it's like oh. catching up with my buddy maz casper yeah. alfie jack finn Everybody. like yeah like all of the guys you know from the uk totally. yeah and plus loads of other youtubers that i don't like get to hang out with unless we're doing a kind of an event mm -hmm. like this so yeah are there any other youtubers that you might be a little starstruck meeting or just excited to see no i've never no. really been one for like anyone who's like famous even like That's like good, actual celebrities like i think i make a good interview person because like <laughs> Because I don't really care who they are, I'll just, I'll be natural. No, like fangirling yeah. or yeah, anything no, like that, that doesn't really happen. Like that, but no. that's good, you're chill. Yeah. I appreciate but that. But YouTubers that I'm meeting who, like, I want to do videos with kind of mm -hmm. thing, so, 
making connections and stuff. Yeah. And now how did you get started posting on YouTube and eventually turn it into something that you could do full time? Yeah, like I, I just posted a video, one video and then I realized like people have got, like wanted to watch it and I was like, this is kind of awesome. And then I, yeah. and then I was like, okay, I'll keep developing my style and making it more and more like how I want to do it. And I got my videos to kind of a quality where I'm like, this is, like, I'm happy with this. Like, I'd, I'd, I've kind of got to a situation now, like if I want to watch, if I'd watch it, then I'm going to put it up. Yeah. And then rather than making stuff just purely for viewers, I'm like, I should make stuff that I'm happy with. And then yeah. if I'm happy with it and I put it out, then I think that's all that matters. But that's good that you're happy yeah. with it. I know some people kind of cringe a little bit when they watch old videos. Are you yeah. like that at all? No, I think I think I just had a different style back then and then and I've developed my style to yeah. now how I want it, so I don't really cringe. Good attitude there. Mm. And now since starting your YouTube channel, what has been the number one thing that you've learned about the process of just editing and filming and posting? Um, well, one of the things is like keeping everything really short and snappy, like yeah. um, making sure it's really watchable in terms of editing. And in terms of filming, I think I try to keep my content fresh every time, so I try and release something different. I like the idea that maybe when something goes into everyone's sub boxes, they click on it and they're like, I wonder what it's going to be this week. Yep. And I think that's something I've really developed. Rather than sticking to one thing, I'm going to now try and like keep everything fresh mm -hmm. and different. So what's next for you? What are you going to do next that's fresh? Have you thought about what you want to do? Aside, Just, I mean, the documentary. Yeah, the documentary is just like a new thing that I want to do. And I want to up my pranks, you know, like I want to make yes. them like... I want to make them more like when you're watching TV and you see it and they've got like props, they've got costumes, they've got like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to make them more legit. And that's one of the things I really want to do, like invest a bit of like the money that I'm getting from making videos um, it back into like making really awesome pranks. Yeah. And you have done some really hilarious pranks in the past. I remember that elevator prank. It's one of your most popular videos, yeah, it's isn't it? Views, yeah. I mean, for real, that was amazing. So what has been your favorite memory or craziest memory from filming one of these prank videos? Um, I've... I'm not actually, everyone says, I've, uh, like, have you been hit doing a prank or something? Because yeah. when I wind people up. I mean, you, you're talking to strangers here. Yeah. They don't know what you're doing. I nearly got like beaten up by this Irish man in the lift when I was doing the lift prank because me and Jack yeah. were pretending to like fart on people yeah. and he got really angry. But then his little kids realized we were filming and told him. Oh, and, okay. and then when he came back in the lift, he pretended to fart on us. It was quite funny. Yeah. And now you have worked with some really amazing people already. Yeah. So who would you like to collaborate with in the future? What's your dream collab? Um, I don't really have a dream club, but there's people that like other prank, like like the Janoskians were in LA, and I I missed them, and like our time, like our time, like different di clashed, and yeah. it would have been awesome to do a prank with them. It's just anyone who makes a similar content to me, or yeah. anyone who I watch our content, I'm like, I enjoy your content, like. And that's all that really matters. I don't, mm -hmm. you know, like the Janoskins would be really amazing because they yeah, do pranks, we totally. do pranks, and then it would be a really fun. It would just be one giant prank. Yeah, yeah. And really now, good. these documentaries are pretty serious, but um, what impact do you want your videos to have on your fans? Um, I don't care if it's like they laugh or they cry or they, it makes them feel like more appreciate afterwards. I just want something a bit like I want to keep my content really real like so whatever it is they you know they come away with something rather than they watch it and they're like yeah, there was a video yeah. you know yeah as long as they enjoy it no matter what way they enjoyed it like I'm happy now YouTube has been growing so much in the last few years clearly it's shaping the entertainment world as it is right now so where do you see your career on YouTube heading in the next five years I don't even think about tomorrow, let alone five ah. years. Like I'm very much, I'm very much go with the flow. Like I obviously keep my, you know, mindset on what, you know, what I kind of want to do, but I don't really look too far in front. Mm -hmm. YouTube is obviously growing really fast, and I think it's like the new TV. And I think yeah. there's a lot of opportunities for people. And mm -hmm. I just think if you work hard and you make good content, then you're going to do well. And yes. I try and to have do. you thought about doing many, maybe anything outside of YouTube or any other projects that you'd like to pursue? I mean. People are always like, oh yeah, like you're doing really well on YouTube. Maybe you can take that step and move to TV. And I'm like, it's not really the step. YouTube like, is yeah, the step. yeah, exactly. So I'm not all about that. I'm all mm -hmm. about um, like YouTube. It's the new TV. Yeah, like yeah. we are the new TV, and yes, people just need exactly. to like, people need to learn that. And when yeah. people are like, uh, when they're TV, people are like, um, yeah, like we were thinking about getting you on the show. I'm like, maybe you should come on my show. I've been thinking yeah. about maybe you could come on my <laughs> show. Yeah. Good thinking. Yeah. I like your mindset there. I mean, YouTube really is becoming the next outlet for entertainment, yeah. and it's awesome. 
so for anybody who wants to follow you on social networking sites and find your videos where can they go uh, just youtube.com forward slash Sam or my mm -hmm. Twitter sa uh, forward slash Sam Pepper and all my links are in the description. Yes. So make sure you follow him and check out his videos. Great stuff. Thank yeah. you so much for hanging out. It was Thanks really great talking me. to you. And everybody watching, subscribe to our channel for more interviews and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Guys.